Well, I want to thank all of you for joining us today. We're excited to present you this new webinar from WISIS uh, on preparing your business for supply chain disruptions using WISIS warehouse management system. Uh, we are excited to uh, go on this journey with you guys and be a guide with you as well. So here we go. Let's get started. My name is Aaron Armandaris. I am a senior sales consultant here at WISIS Software. I've been helping customers and prospects solve problems for about four years now. And uh, my goal is to be your guide today during our webinar. Um, let's take a quick look at our agenda here. We're gonna do some background uh, on supply chain disruptions in 2022. Uh, I have presented the three Vs, which are, are visibility, or validation, visibility, and velocity. Uh, just some items to get us started with. But during that, we're going to go over some overview of the WISIS product during those uh, three Vs as well. We'll take a look at the entire suite or, or some of the suite of agility and WISIS offerings there, including 360, which is our newest Android application, our agility desktop license, which is outside of the WMS handheld devices, and then our newest product, which is our agility shipping. We're gonna kind of go through some of those processes today. Uh, we're also gonna talk how you can get started with WISIS and how we can help you uh, during these times of disruption. And then we'll take a few questions and answers at the end and uh, we can discuss anything you wanna go over. And um, that's kind of what we're gonna do today. So let's get on with it. So, um, you know, I think, I think we're all aware now that, that supply chain disruptions are happening around us everywhere in our daily lives, right? We hear things on the news, we see things in the grocery store, um, whether it's things like toilet paper shortages, you know, computer chip shortages, uh, the exorbitant price of e uh, exercise equipment, uh, even sourcing some of our handheld computers that you see here as well have become a challenge to a lot of companies today. So, you know, we, we realize that you deal with this in your daily lives. And over the past two years, more than ever, um, you see these supply chain problems. I mean, I'm going into Costco and there's no toilet paper, we got some problems. So I understand that you guys may be experiencing this type of stuff as well. And um, you know, by joining us here in this webinar, uh, I think you've demonstrated that you have interest and some resiliency in your companies um, to make it through these dis disruptions. Um, the question that I wanna pose to all of you at the start here today is, you know, how prepared are you for these challenges or more disruption? I'd like to put a quick poll out real quick just to see where you are in your preparation for these current disruptions or even future disruptions that we're seeing. Let me uh, really give you a poll here that I'm going to launch and just, I wanna get some answers and, and see how you guys feel if you're ready for future disruption in the supply chain. So I've opened that poll. I'm going to let people answer that. We've got you know, quite a few people here that want to answer that question. Um, you know, are you are you really ready or fully prepared for future disruption in supply chain? Have you you know you got a good idea or a plan down? Uh, I read a recent um, poll from Oxford uh, Oxford uh, I, I guess it's Oxford Education did a recent poll that Fortune 1000 companies have um, taken a poll on their readiness for supply chain disruption. And about 53% of those companies or decision makers have said that um, they have a plan in place or they have begun uh, planning out their supply chain issues and processes to resolve those. But what I heard in that result is only 21% of those people or those decision makers have actually implemented plans to help them prepare and, and get and get moving in the future with with additional disruption. So uh, it's really interesting to hear that, you know, and that's what we want to do here today for WISIS. We want to to help discuss how we can be part of that plan for you and your company, and how WISIS and warehouse management fits into that. So let's close out the poll. We'll revisit that later with some information that we can share of uh, what what people are thinking here. So let's close that poll. All right. So. Let's go ahead and we're gonna, let's go to the next slide here real quick. 
So we want to help you prepare and we want to discuss that and how we could be a part of your plan. So I have a slide up here talking about the typical problems in today's warehouse, right? And you're asking yourself, Aaron, why are, why are we talking about typical problems in the warehouse? Well, disruption, especially the supply chain, is giving us an opportunity to make tough business decisions like reorganization, implementing new systems, cutting non-performing products and customers. This is a time where, where you can make important decisions based on the crisis that you're having today. And, and it's really a terrible thing to waste a crisis and not do the reorganization and the, re -implement, and the implementing of new solutions and softwares to help you out. So these are just some of the things that our customers are telling us that are a problem today. Now, again, the reasons we bring these up is if you can solve some of these problems, this has a direct correlation or impact on your supply chain disruptions or problems that you're experiencing. By solving typical problems, you're able to free yourself up and allow you to make better decisions um, that, that have higher concern or bigger problems for you as a, in, the supply chain, um, in the supply chain itself. So we're going to solve basic problems by automating, doing things in your warehouse to allow you to free up, to really focus on the important things that, that you need to go through in your business. So let's visit the, the, the three V's, and I'm sure you're really excited to hear what those are about. You know, the three V's are going to be validation, visibility, and velocity. So the first V that we're going to visit, and this is a way of helping you through that supply chain disruption, is getting some validation. So let's go through the validation process with WISIS. So we want to validate automations with WISIS. We want to, um, we want to achieve validation by automating functions within WISIS, WMS. We wanna take manual processes that you've been doing, we wanna move them out to the first touch points in the warehouse. We wanna do real-time and accurate inventory transaction using mobile devices, tablets, handheld computers, really getting into the use of technology to validate by automating processes you see today in your warehouse. By creating accuracy, and validation with every transaction or movement that takes place in your warehouse. We're gonna eliminate things like removing manual keying of orders and information or re-entering data at a later time. We want real-time inventory control here and this is going to help us give that validation um, that will help us through that supply chain disruption. So um, let's start talking about some of the products. So to achieve a validation, we use our Agility Essentials out of the box program. We are gonna do all the essential SAP B1 functionality that usually happens on a desktop or um, by someone in the front office. We're gonna take those functions and move those out to the warehouse. We're gonna do standard transactions like goods receipt PO, put away, picking, packing, uh, cycle counting. We even handle bin and batch and serial control and document and label managing. But today, really what I wanna show you is the validation and the steps through validation in very simple ways to help you understand that by validating and getting accurate data, you're gonna make better decisions. So let me just show you some of that from our product. So we're gonna start out here using our, our emulator of WISIS Agility 360. This is our solution that runs on a Android device, whether it be a tablet, a handheld device, or even a mobile device such as a cell phone. But we're going to use a native Android application on there. And these are all the functions that are in the basic essentials process here. So I really want to get to show you validation, but automating processes that usually would be done in SAP, we're going to move that to the handheld device. So I want to take you quick first through a purchase order here, and we're going to keep it um, really simple, but understanding that we can do more advanced things with you in another conversation. We can go deeper um, in that. But I have a PO here, 12, 1321, that I have in SAP. I am ordering Frito Lay's cheddar popcorn, and I'm going to be receiving a thousand of those. And we're going to do that with the handheld right now. So today, as I said, I'm using an emulator on my computer. I'm using a USB scanner to use barcoding to do the validation, to accurately scan 
the items that I'm going to receive. So we're going to do a quick goods receipt PO here. Very easily, I'm going to bring up the application on the handheld. And if you notice here, I have a blue highlighted field. This is the key step to validation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scan the PO number or the purchase order number here to validate that I am receiving the correct product. So let's actually scan that. And notice that blue line jumped down to the item level. So our next goal would be to scan the item, but let's clear that out. I can also do a lookup and I can also type in a goods receipt if there's no barcode, right? I can I can read off the receiver if there's a number, but but essentially I want to be able to scan. So I'm going to scan that. It's going to validate that PO that's a correct PO. I'm going to scan that item that we're receiving, whether it's a barcode on the product itself. Notice I have some defaults set. It is defaulted to my dock bin. What I'd like to do is get that product off the truck, bring it to my dock so that I can then put it away. I do have a quantity remaining here. And now I've, I receive these in inches, but our solution does work with units of measure just as in SAP Business One. If you scan different units of measure, we'll receive in those units of measure. I can under receive or I can set rules to over receive, but today I'm going to receive exactly the amount that I want today. Four. So I've accounted a thousand of those. Oh, I think I did too many. No, I just want to do a thousand. We're going to receive a thousand of those. I'm going to save it and post it. And at this point, I've created an action to print barcodes. Since my product doesn't have barcodes on it, Wysis uses its label designer to create barcodes. And we have we give our customers and our partners the ability to use our design tool, which comes with uh, our label design software, which comes with Wysis Essentials. And you could create a barcode any which way you'd like to see it for your products, whether it's a picture, whether it's batch tracked, serialized, you can have that information on a barcode. Today, I'm just doing a standard barcode of all 1,000. I can print out 1,000 of these barcodes or I can print out one. This is an action that happens when I post it. So I've posted that transaction in real time. So let's go back to SAP Business One and take a look at that purchase order. We're gonna refresh it. Notice that that purchase order is now closed. I've received all 1,000 of that product. And if I do a quick relationship map of that, I can see that I've created a goods receipt PO for that product. And that product is now in my inventory in my warehouse 05. So we've essentially received and validated against good data that we're receiving this product and it's now in our warehouse. Let's show you a little bit more and go deeper into that a little bit. Let's go on the handheld and do some movements. So really, now that we receive that product, we want to put it away someplace. We want to put it in a bin location. Um, it doesn't have to be a bin location, but in this case, for organization and visibility in your supply chain, a binning is optimal for using WISIS. So I'm going to scan that item from the dock. That's where I put it. That's where it's dropped to. I'm going to scan the first item. It's going to validate that against the unit of measure. I could set a default bin. But in this case, I'm going to instruct my employee that he can put it in an available bin. So I'm going to scan that bin location, and I'm going to put all 1,000 of those in that bin location. Just that quickly, in real time, product has been put away in the proper location and been put away from the dock area. To highlight a few of the other applications we do, we can do warehouse transfers of those products. We can do a quick bin transfer all through that we can even look up some inventory views. So with WISIS using a handheld device, I can look up an item, I can look up a bin. So in this case, I wanna find that item and it's gonna tell me all the different bins that I have that item in. A very quick view of that inventory levels to make good decisions about my available stock. Let's close that out. I can also do an item view. So I can again, scan that item and it's gonna tell me how many I have in stock, how many I have committed to orders, how many are on order, and how many are actually available directly through that. I can drill even further into the bin level. So again, seeing those bin locations that that item's located at, at a click of a single button can take you there and show you that. What I've demonstrated here is that through automating processes in the warehouse, you achieve validation, which gives you good data 
to be able to use at a later time. This, you can make business decisions on this data. Um, this is where it's going to help you as we move forward in this demonstration today in our webinar. So let's just jump back to our PowerPoint real quick. And we've talked about validation. We're gonna go now into the next session. So we're gonna start to here at visibility. Well, I apologize. So visibility is the next V in my presentation. Visibility is very important. Once you get accurate real-time data by using a WMS like WISIS, you can get visibility with reliable data. So in reliable data, you can make better decisions. You can make better decisions based on that reliable data, data and you can believe that data. One of the biggest things we talk about here is the, the, a global process. And, and you see that here in the slide, but a global process is what a lot of manual companies do is they go back and look. They have to leave the office. So a CFO, CEO is now making a trip down to the warehouse to, to see that information because before they were not able to believe it, right? They're not believing the data. They don't think what they have in the warehouse is what's really showing up. When we validate that, we now get the visibility into our data and can actually do make decisions with that. So, you know, we see customers focusing on improving visibility. Um, one example that I have is as an automotive company that recently just lost a very large customer. Their data wasn't believable. They didn't have good data. They didn't have processes automating to get that validation. They lost a very large customer because items were missing in their warehouse. It was just located in the wrong area and they've lost a permanent customer because they were unable to find that that inventory that was in it mismarked in the wrong place in the warehouse. And that could end up costing them, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars and loss of a customer. So we, and we all know how important customer retention is, but again, this is also going to help you through those supply chain decisions, having good visibility. And one way we get some visibility is we have tools that we use, right? In in the in Wysis, we have some tools that you can use. And our desktop license is a very good um, solution that we like to, to use to get some more visibility. We have, it is a solution that runs on a desktop and a Windows computer as an application that can be run either inside of SAP Business One tool, toolbar or their menu structure or outside. Um, we do many different views of data, so you can make good decisions and organize your data. You can export data as an Excel style spreadsheet. We call those our grids or process grids. I would like to show you a few of these just to get a good idea of where we can start. Um, because WISIS is flexible, we can also modify these forms and modify these grids for you to see things the way your company needs to see them. So not only are we gonna give you some standard default information out of the box, but we're also going to allow you to customize and tailor this product so that in the future, you can see specific information that you wanna see. So uh, if you notice here, I have a desktop application and it's just run here on my Agility desktop. It is a program that we, we call Agility Explorer. And we are going to have a sample size or a standard out of the box set of grids that we like to use with our customers. This is where customers show us, um, tell us things that, that is important to them. And we've added that to our standard product. Um, if you think about our desktop license, it scans, it spans more than just the warehouse. This is a tool that can be used in customer service. So if I wanted to have some visibility into a, a grid here, so I have a sales menu here and these are standard sales items that we like to go through um, one of one of the best ones or one that gives us the most um, visibility are sales orders now if you see here again this is in a grid style format i can filter information so these are all my sales orders that are in the system i can see what's open i can see what's you know by status so i have here i'm seeing my orders that are open and my orders that are closed as an open status here, I can see all my open orders that are in SAP. I can assign different alerts to that. So I do have some overdue um, or overdue orders that need to go out. I can make good decisions based on the information this is giving me. I can also sort by my customer name. So I could see all my orders by customer. 
Um, we are gonna work on a few of these orders today and, and I just wanted to show you because we may come back to it later, but this is a way that a customer service rep could have some visibility in the orders. Imagine your sales team having the ability to really filter into their orders and their customers to make good decisions on who gets what and how orders get fulfilled. Um, so that's one application that we use. Uh, talking about maybe your procurement department with open purchase orders. Now we get some good visibility into purchase, uh, purchase orders here. I, I have it sorted by vendor name. I can actually move that header back out and I can see all my available purchase orders. I can filter out, I can filter in here, open orders, right? So I have now all my open orders visible to me here. I can filter by customer now, so V, 20,000 customer, here's all my open orders here. And I can also drill in by due date. So I can get a better grid view look of this information. Again, this is all happening in real time as WMS is taking place in the warehouse. So these can be refreshed in real time to get any changes that have been made or, or orders that have gone out. So imagine yourself being somebody in purchasing, being having visibility without using SAP to see that information and making decisions based on that. Uh, a popular one, um, we're not going to talk much about production today, but we do have the same visibility in production orders. And there are a lot of different functionality that you can do with purchase orders, with resources. We even have a production calendar out of the box. All of these items can be tailored. We can create them how you need to see them. But what I'm trying to stress here is the visibility into this data that's accurate and has been validated in the system. And you're able to make real time good decisions. One last one, let's take a look at it. I love looking at the pick list analytics grid that we have. Now this takes the SAP pick and pack manager and shows you by pick status, the orders that I have outstanding. And I have some orders that we're gonna work on today and here are the release pick lists that I've created. And here's my pick list numbers, but I can see by due date what's necessary. So I can filter that and I can even sort by date as well if I wanted to. So I can drop, drill down another level and see my released pick statuses and get some good information. So getting visibility is going to help you make better decisions. Um, it's going to allow you to, um, free again, free up your time to, to, do, to work with better data and free up your time to make better decisions on supply chain issues that you're looking at. So we're really gonna help you with that. So that's our desktop solution. That's separate than our scanning solution. Um, but that's a very, I see this as the highest growth area of WISIS today, because once you get that valid data, people are going to want to look at that information and sort it and view it in different ways. All right. So we've, we've, we've taken a look at the um, uh, validation. We've gotten into visibility. Let's take the next step on the third V. All right. So let's go down to here to velocity. So last but not least is velocity. Right. So when we talk about velocity, usually that means going faster. You know, now that we have now that we have automated processes, we have valid data, we have good visibility into that data. Now we can make decisions that will help us go faster. It'll give us the flexibility to pivot and maximize our efficiencies in the warehouse. Right. We're going to use technology as that catalyst. So you're gonna use things like wireless handhelds to become faster. You're going to use tablets in production to record the information so that you can get visibility into it so that you can do things better and faster, right? Um, one, one example I have here um, that really shows how technology and, and WISIS has helped one of our customers, um, we have a customer that's taken velocity to the next step. They've really, gotten into WISIS WMS. They are doing movements. They are doing validation. They're getting accurate data now where they weren't before. They've added, recently added our agility shipping solution to help them become faster, become more efficient and show us the velocity in their business, right? So they've taken this, they've used agility shipping to now to be able to service their Amazon customers and realizing those two day shipping that Amazon Prime members needs. What that has done for them, it's actually given them the power and the credibility with other vendors. They're now using Bed Bath & Beyond. 
They're now into Walmart and Target stores, but they really needed to get that velocity down in their current processes to take that next step to open up their company to other um, to other avenues for revenue streams, right? So, you know, saying that it's 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 interesting because you know they they're now making supply chain decisions based on which one of those vendors or partners gets their product. So they use that visibility to make accurate decisions about distribution and supply demand, their chain, and, um, and allocations to different companies where they're now making a much larger profit. And they've shown that by being able to, to, to become faster and more efficient using all three of the Vs here we have today. So I would like to show you a little bit of our agility shipping, which really helped out this company in California really become faster and increase the velocity of their company. So you saw today we received some product. What I'd like to do is fulfill and satisfy a couple of sales orders or a sales order for you to see here. Um, so let's go into our sales orders. What I'd like to do is I'd like to pick this product, I'd like to pack it, and I'd like to ship it all integrated into SAP Business One, all without going outside of the system and all using accurate validated information that the system's providing me. So let's take a look at our first sales order. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna look at the pick list because we're gonna pick a sales order pick. So we're gonna pick from a sales order. So let's look at the pick list here. So I do have a pick list for this item. Uh, I think we're gonna sell a hundred of these, right? We're gonna package and we're gonna pick, pack and ship out a hundred. Um, to this customer. So you see I have a pick list. So we're using the SAP Pick Pack Manager. We're going to go back to our handheld device and we're going to just do some sales order picking first very easily. Uh, let's go to sales order picking. So I'm going to scan my pick list number. So this could be either assigned to me, which it is assigned to Jason. I can actually look that up. So here's all my pick list that I have to accomplish today. All valid, validating with the pick list in SAP. I can scan a pick list. So if I do have a piece of paper or a pick list that I do want to give them, they do have the ability to scan that item. So I'm going to do that first pick list. I'm going to scan it. My first order is 1283. I'm going to scan the order. And I'm going to scan that item from the bin. So I scan that first item. And now I'm going to scan the bin that I'm taking that from. So I'm going to take that from my bin here. And I'm going to take all 100. Now what I've done here is I've picked that. Notice it says item fully picked, that product has been picked. So the pick list is now going to, if I go back to that and I refresh it, it's gonna be say it's picked. And that product can now be taken over to a staging bin or an area where shipping can happen. So we've picked a product on a sales order. It's been picked. We're gonna to go to our agility shipping, which is also a desktop module. We do have the availability to run agility shipping or ship items on a handheld device. Today, I'm gonna to show you a packing station where we're gonna do that today. So, um, and I'm gonna integrate that with UPS, so you'll see that. So let's just open the agility fulfillment manager, which is agility shipping. And I can here create a shipment for delivery um, of that product that we just had. So I'm gonna do a new shipment here. So notice I've created a shipment number when I've done a new shipment. I'm going to add a carton or a box that's going to house the material or the items that are on that order. So I'm going to add a carton and that creates a, a unique package ID for that carton. I do have the availability to use pallets. A module we haven't talked about today, which can help with velocity, is our pallet module. And we'll go deeper into that on a separate conversation or our next webinar, I believe. Um, but pallets is a unique feature to Weiss's that adds an extra packaging layer. Let's go to add the item now. So we're gonna add that first item. So we're gonna scan that order as it comes over off the paperwork. I'm going to scan the item. Now it's in my staging bin, so I'm gonna take all 100 of those and we're going to pack those in a carton. And you'll notice here I have 100 on there. Now on here, my LTL has been lit up and the whatever the sales order demands are for shipping, whether it's UPS ground, FedEx or USPS, that icon will highlight and be ready to be used. Now, in this case, we know that the ship via is UPS ground. So my UPS uh, icon is lit here. I can click UPS. And integrated into Weiss's is the UPS processes. So I have my UPS carrier here. 
I have all my package weights and dimensions within SAP, so it pulls that. I can also get a weight, so I can also weigh it with a scale if I want to, to be more precise. Uh, we do have the ability shortly coming to Weiss's is rate shopping, so we'll be able to get the best, most competitive rate for that product. But today we're just gonna ship this product out to the company that ordered it. I'm going to hit the ship button, and that's going to bring up the UPS interface. It's also going to bring up my UPS labels for that one box. If I had multiple cartons and multiple boxes, it would create that there. But here is my UPS label. I close that out. It's also going to print here for me a packing list, which I can require or not require. This is automated with a standard WISIS document that we can use um, and we can develop documents with you. But this is the standard packing list that we have there. So you notice I've ordered 200, I shipped 100. So I didn't complete, fulfill that order with all the product, but I've at least shipped out 100 and it's allowed me to do that and it's used UPS. So let's close that out. I can print package labels if I have, oh, actually there's the second one. So that shipment has cleared out. It's no longer in the the fulfillment manager and the agility shipping. Let's go back to that sales order. Let's take a look at what happened there. So as we go back to that sales order, we're going to refresh here and it's gonna say close now. So I've closed that sales order, right? I've picked a hundred, I've delivered it. I am going to do a relationship map here to show you what that's done. It's created the delivery note. And as we click into that delivery note, right? We go back into the delivery note and we take a look, look at the logistics tab. So it's created the delivery note from that shipment and it's also populated the tracking number information from U, UPS. So what we've done there is we've picked, we've packed, we've shipped the product and we've retrieved that information or just automatically integrated into the UPS um, functionality and brought that right back into SAP in real time. So you're able to see the velocity that agility shipping can provide you and your customers. So that's one other solution um, that's brand new. Now, again, it may not be the way your company is doing it today or how you're doing it. Um, we do have the tool set to allow for customization and tailoring as we call it. So we can really drill into a conversation with you of understanding how you and your business works. So let's go back to our PowerPoint to kind of close it out here. So let's go here. So, you know, how, how can WISIS help you today? We, we've talked about the three Vs. We've understood that accuracy is very important. We are going to wanna ask you today, do you believe the information that your system is telling you today? Are you doing inventory movements using validation? Are you automating these processes? Now we can help you by having, basically starting with a conversation. We can talk about our essentials product. We can talk about more detailed but just understand that we don't need to take a bite of the whole apple. We can talk about small portions to get you started. If you have noticed in this demonstration that there are certain areas that you have concerns or pains that you wanna address just those specific items, we can do that. We don't need to attack an entire project and we can build a project plan with you to focus on those areas that are important to you. You know, so, you know, I hope you got some good information today. I hope that we were able to show you a little bit of the WISIS overview. We, you know, just a reminder, we've been doing this from 2004, 18 years now. We've been guiding companies uh, throughout this process and throughout supply chain issues and many other issues. We are certified in SQL and HANA. Um, that is a very great accomplishment that we take pride in. Um, and, you know, and we can help you just by starting a conversation. So um, I hope that you've learned a little today. And if you have any questions or answers, please feel free to, to put those in the, uh, the chat now. One thing I'd like to add is that some results from before that'll go out in the email is that most of you thought that the issue of being prepared for supply chain disruption, you were, it's of concern to you. So that's a red flag to me. That's very, um, that's a very good indicator that you need some guidance and some help um, with these processes. And uh, hopefully WISIS can help you with that, but let's have a chat. Let's take a, let's take a, a look at that later. Um, 
the, the one thing I'll leave you with today, um, you know, if, if anything, this, this webinar made you think, it made you come up with some ideas or think of things that are, you're doing today, you know, what are we doing now and what can we do better in 2022? I don't see a lot of this stuff ending soon. I see this continuing and it could be, you know, it could be another strain of COVID. It could be um, political unrest in different areas of the world. I know we have trading partners in China. Um, people are very concerned over the world as it, as it is today. And, and I believe that being unprepared is the biggest problem that these companies are seeing today. So if you'd like to talk more and go deeper, please call me. I'm here. Email me. Um, we're glad to have you and I appreciate your time today. Thank you guys. Have a great one.